Have you heard about Nivedan Nimpe? He was the creator of Oreco Tea. He not only made his business international, but he also contributed towards large-scale development of his village, Malinaru. He set up manufacturing units at village level instead of transporting them to multinational areas or metropolitan cities. By doing this, he was able to generate large-scale employment for the locals of his own villages. This, in, in fact, is a reminder that Gram Swaraj is not a myth. It is a reality, and it has enormous power to transform our nation. It is rightly said, and I quote, the soul of India resides in its villages. Good morning, everybody, respected members of the jury, digni uh, honored dignitaries. My dear friends, I am Pushkar Sharma. I come from the state of Sikkim, and I'll be speaking on minimum government and maximum governance. All eyes were on Finance Minister Madam Nirmala Shrita Raman as she presented the Union Budget of 2022, which revealed promising commitments to strengthen trust-based governance with the ease of doing business and an increase in cooperative federalism. From acting as owners, regulators, and controllers, we need our government to take role as facilitators in all three stages of demand, supply, and services. I take this opportunity to recommend five prominent reforms which I believe are highly effective in attaining our goal of maximum governance. Let us start with easy business for all. In this age of liberalization and sustainable development, all must be provided with equal opportunities. Initiatives like Startup India has helped MSMEs to grow, but it has also encouraged high and big industrialists to integrate with smaller enterprises. Pachis tak parhai, uske baad ek sarkari naukri, aur fir life settled. Ye tha bite huye kal ka Bharat. Mujhe apne khud ka kuch shuru karna hai. कुछ अपनी सोच का कुछ अपने हौसले से भले ही छोटा होगा लेकिन मेरे खुद का होगा मेरी लगन का होगा और मेरे विश्वास का होगा यह है आज का भारत जो जाग चुका है और चल पड़ा है आत्मनिर्भर बनने की ओर कमिंग टू द सेकंड पॉइंट व्हिच इज टू क्रिएट अ राइट टू एजुकेशन एक्ट we need a decentralized education system where every state has the right to take its own decision the new education policy requires more institutional support and cooperation for its successful implementation, which will result in minimum government and maximum governance. Now let us talk about liberalizing agriculture. In 1999, liberalization reforms provided various benefits to industries. Now I think it's the best time to do the same thing with our farming sectors in, by liberalizing agriculture. We need to promote direct um, connection between the producers and the consumers in such a way that consumers are able to uh, choose their own crops, which will give them access to food security. There should be prevention on wastage of foods by, uh, by growing crops based on the requirement of the people which and farmers will be receiving direct incomes from their products. Decentralized governments, local government can help to deepen democracy in India and also to ensure women's participation. Decentralized will help the subordinate to work in best manner suited for their departments and when every department work at its optimum level then we can see a change. Ladies and gentlemen, a government does not uh, run on policies alone. It needs the support and the active involvement of its people. We need to shift from government to governance. And that is how we can bring about uh, reforms to overcome corruption and uh, centralization, thereby pro uh, promoting decentralization, transparency, and accountability in the government, which should uh, focus on making policies which are based on the general welfare of the society and not just the interest of a few people. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Bush.